Yes, indeed, this is the Stage and Screen Show with me, Andy Snowden, here on 105 Calon FM. Right, let's do this, shall we? What's the buzz? Tell me what's happening. 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 I'm going downtown tonight. What's going on? Now, Theatre Cluid has a rather packed calendar. Uh, over the next few months uh, just a few things to tell you about tonight and uh, tomorrow closes tomorrow at Theatre Fluid is uh, one for the kids this it's called The Gruffalo it looks absolutely fantastic playing until tomorrow afternoon and Swirly Woos is another one for the children on Friday the 20th until the 21st of May uh, Celebrated Virgins a brand new piece is playing up at Data Cluid from Friday the 20th of May until Saturday the 4th of June and the touring production from the classic uh, London Theatre Company is a play called Boeing Boeing it starts up at Data Cluid uh, on the 24th and runs until the 28th of May. It's an award winning play from Mark Camelotti written back in the 1960s and I am so pleased to say that I am joined on the line by one of the stars of the show, Isabel Della Porter. Welcome to the Stage and Screen Show. And after the horrendous couple of years that we've had it must be so wonderful Isabel just to be back in the theatres, back on the road just doing what, uh, what, what you're meant to be doing, right? Oh yeah, it's an absolute, it's such a relief and so lovely to be just be in a room again with people making work and um, and sharing it with people, you know, um, actually in the room um, because, you know, there's such a big difference between doing something that's, you know, on a screen and doing something where you can actually, you know, they're right there and you can feel their, their reactions as it were. So yeah, yeah no, it's really, it's really wonderful. I think one of the, the, the interesting things during lockdown was people had to think outside the box and but doing plays and readings and everything. that They became quite popular online, but soul-destroying at the same time, surely. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think, I think you know, we, as an industry, we got hit very hard. But, you know, we, I'm very lucky just because, you know, I, I mean, it, it, compared to how the rest of the country kind of dealt with it and you know I kind of got off very lightly you know I didn't get too ill um so I guess actually it's kind of a sacrifice worth making for the the greater good as it were but yeah no it was it was difficult times to say the least and it seemed from the outside looking in um that uh people in the in the acting profession anybody in the entertainment industry really they were they were treated so badly i mean it almost like the worst people they're almost like the forgotten relative that everyone kind of thought well they don't really <laughs> they, they don't really matter for some reason everybody else got furloughed and but um performers they were sort of brushed aside for some reason it was weird yeah and and the difficulty is also you know um I think I think a lot of people basically, you know, as an actor, you kind of have a lot of different side hustles. Um, and so I think a lot of people who had those hustles for a while were able to kind of just fully dip into that. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know that. But that wasn't my experience because I do a lot of, um, you know, all of the all of the tertiary jobs that you do to kind of fund acting, unfortunately, are kind of service industry based. Um, <laughs> which also didn't do so well during the pandemic. So, yeah, it was a bit dire straits for, for me and a lot of people that I know. Yeah. Um, but, you know, we, we, we struggled through and now, yeah, we're back. So yeah. come Brilliant. see the show. For God's Absolutely. Sake. Yes, exactly. And, <laughs> you know, I mean, it's great for the performers, but it's also great for the audiences as well to be able to get back into a room and just to mix with people and watch shows. And it's just, it's, it's, it's something that when, when we had it before, you didn't realise you were going to miss it so much when it was gone and, until it came back. Yeah, no, completely, completely. I think there are so many things like that, you know, like live music and um, all of those things that um, that, you know, make life interesting and and fun they you know they were all put on pause so it's it's a no it's a relief for them all to kind of be happening again and 
we can't wait to welcome people, to be honest. Yeah, fantastic. And uh, you're about to go back on the road. I mean, is how is life on the road these days? I mean, you, you haven't quite started yet, I suppose, so it's difficult to say. Is it is it is is it much different to how it was before, or much of a much? Well, you know, now? actually, this is actually my first tour. Oh right. <laughs> so I've never I've never been on the road as such before. I mean, I've been to like different places with plays but they've stayed there i haven't actually gone from place to place before so it's going to be a new experience for me so i actually have no idea how to answer that question right um but yeah we'll see <laughs> a lot of people they, they they think they're going to do the uh the touristy things and sort of find all uh, all the lovely museums in different towns they've never been to but uh sleeping is me. probably <laughs> No, well, that well, will be me. I will be. I will be there with a guidebook. Um, <laughs> I think, and I think we're all we're all going to. Um, we all have. Um, we'll have little trips planned of, for places. Um, and me and a couple of the girls like to go wild swimming. So um, I think we're going to try and find. Yeah, are there any li- lakes near Theatre Cluid? There, hey, there we're, 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 the, we're the world's capital. I bet you're for... full of lakes. Oh, we're exactly. full of lakes. <laughs> oh well, that that's that's where you'll find us. Oh right, to perfect. A lake, and you'll you'll meet the cast. <laughs> God, that's uh, that is brave. That's something I've never fancied at all. Is it, does oh, it... no, it's going to be glorious. Oh uh, well, yeah, I suppose. Um, yeah, Hopefully. but you are you will you are in North Wales, so uh, be be. <laughs> you know, be cautious. One person's summer is another person's uh, yeah, Antarctic. That's true. Um, that's true. But anyway, yeah, we better talk about the play. Of course, you're you're on the road with a play with the uh, the London Classic Theatre Company. It's called Boeing Boeing. It's a new one yeah. on me. Although, I mean, by definition, it's with the London Classic Theatre Company. It's a it's a it's an old play. Uh, tell us about it. What's going on? Yeah, so it was, it's a it's a, a play, it's a farce um, written by a French guy um, in the 60s and then um, kind of came over here and was translated. Um, and there was quite a famous um, rendition of it, uh, I think about 10 years ago now, 15 years ago, um, with Mark Rylance um, playing the, the main character. Um, and basically it is about um, a guy who arrives in Paris to see his friend and his friend introduces him to this new life that he'd never thought, um, he'd never imagined before, where basically he has three different women um, who are all air hostesses, who um, are his lovers. And um, basically how um, perfect and amazing and opportune um, this life kind of is. Um, And then as the play goes on, you see this character, um, the the main guy's friend, um, really start to unravel as timetables change and hijinks um, happens, basically. (laughs) Right, because I've always thought, uh, and I've heard it said as well, that uh, farce, I mean, comedy in itself is one of the hardest things to master, but farce is uh, a really difficult thing to get on board with. Did did you sort of like slot into it okay, or is it is it a fair comment that it's really difficult? Um, no, yeah, it is difficult, but I I love it because um, I remember I did when I was at school, um, I did um, noises off, right, uh, which is another farce, another great farce, um, and. I, I love the way because it's a bit like restoration in a way. It's like it's it's very musical, so you know like there are very um, you have to be able to have the ear to have the beats. And once you've gotten your ear in, then um, then it all kind of falls into place. And actually finding that musicality, I really enjoy. But yeah, it is it is difficult, and um, it's one of those ones where if you you know in the rehearsal room you don't have an audience, so. Um, you can make each other laugh by all means, but actually at the end of the day, you have no idea going into the theatre whether anyone else is going to laugh. Yeah. So it's always a bit of a gamble, um, but it's a gamble worth taking. So yeah, we hope that people will laugh. Fantastic. And I noticed you, you, you trained at RADA. Yes, I did, yeah. And you graduated in 2017. I, I presume RADA didn't have um, a, a comedy class, did it? <laughs> Um, no, well, it, we didn't do com- well. We did, we do um, like restoration, uh, um, which is which is kind of fast. It's kind of the I think the the grandmother of or grandfather, either or, um, of fast. Um, so actually, yeah, we did we do quite a lot of. Um, we don't do necessarily um, this kind of um, 
of of comedy but we do we do we do clowning workshops and all all, all sorts of things actually so it kind of does um the timings and that it's not completely unfamiliar yeah um and it kind of did prepare me a lo- yeah quite a lot actually yeah. so yeah it's it was great i've always thought it's a technique that you you kind of you, you have to do it to learn it so it's a it's an odd one to sort of because a lot of people they feel like you know it's like turning up to school with your underpants on because um you don't know how well it's <laughs> as you say you don't know how well it's going to I mean, go down it. Hopefully you do turn up to school with your underpants on. You <laughs> Just turn up your, school underpants. With your underpants off. <laughs> that, that's when it gets problematic. <laughs> uh, it's a metaphor I've always used, and I've, I, no one's ever pulled me up on it before. But uh, you're absolutely right. Yeah, that's what you do need your underpants on. And, uh... You definitely need your underpants on in school. Kids, <laughs> keep, keep your underpants on. <laughs> Don't listen to Andy. <laughs> Fantastic. And before I let you go, I mean, it's the um, Eurovision is tonight, and we've been uh, we've been celebrating oh, yeah. we've been celebrating Eurovision all week, and this kind of is uh, it's set all over Europe. So I've got to get your your opinion on your Eurovision. Is it um, is it is it is it your bag? Do you enjoy that evening? Oh, I absolutely love it. I'm I'm all over Eurovision. It's it's one of those times where everyone puts their stuff aside um, and you get to kind of just kind of not be silly because obviously people do take it seriously. And it's, I just think it's a great celebration of the eclectic mashup that is well, Europe and beyond. Yeah. Um, so I, I think that there's, if there's any chance to celebrate people's differences and um, art, I think is a wonderful thing. So I, I will be enjoying it. Fantastic. And you fancy our chances, Sam Ryder? Yeah, why not? Get in there. I mean, yeah. you know, historically we don't do particularly well, but you know, I'm I'm yeah. I'll I'll back whatever horse we we're on. Yeah. Fantastic. Well you're coming to Theatre Cluid on the twenty fourth until the twenty eighth of May. You'll have a lovely time, even if you uh, even yeah. if it's a little bit cold for you. Um you'll have you'll have a great time. There's plenty of places to go. I'll make the most of it. Rain rain shine, snow sleep, the show must go on. Absolutely. I think that that was the corniest thing I've ever said, but yeah, there you go. <laughs> Isabel, it's an absolute treat to speak to you. Thank you ever so much for that. And uh, you yeah, too. enjoy your no, tour. My pleasure. Thank you very much for talking to me. Thank Look, you. All right, you take care of yourself. Cheers. You too. Okay, bye. Thanks a lot. Bye. <laughs> Isabel Della Porter coming up to Theatre Cluid with the London Classic Theatre Company's production of Boeing Boeing from the 24th until the 28th of May. Right, as promised, his scooch. Yeah.